Hello friends, in this series we will see all the puzzles that are most commonly asked. So let's see the first puzzle. There are 100 switches in a room for 100 bulbs. All switches are of initial. You are asked to make 100 passes through them in such a manner that during ith pass all switches that are multiples of i are toggled. After completing 100 passes through the switches, you have to determine how many bulbs are on and what are their numbers. So let's understand the problem first. I have switches from 1 to 100, so let me write it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, up to 100. Initially, all are off. It is given in the problem. Now, in the first pass, I will toggle all the multiples of 1. So, all the numbers are multiple of 1 here. So, we will toggle all the switches. So, true, 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 true. In the second pass, I will toggle all the multiple of 2. No change here. Then here it was true earlier. So I will change it to false. This is true. But I will toggle it to false. True. False. True. This is false. So in this manner after 100 passes. What are all the bulbs that are on? And we have to tell their counting also. This is the problem. There are two ways to solve this problem. Either solve it in a naive manner or solve it with mathematical approach. So if you want to try it with a naive way, then try it with 10 switches. And if you want to solve it in mathematical manner, then think about the number of divisors of each number. So if we are doing it with naive approach, if, uh, and we see it with 10 switches then initially all are off in the first pass you will toggle all of them so they become true means they all are on in the second pass you toggle all the switches which are multiple of 2 so you can see in this diagram here uh, it became false here it became false 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 because initially it was true in the third pass, we will change all the multiples of 3. In the fourth, all the multiples of 4. In the fifth pass, all multiples of 5. Now, let's see with sixth pass. Since 6 is a multiple of 6, so we will change it to false. True, true, false, true. 7. False. False. True. False. False. Now here is 7. I will toggle it. True to false. F. T. In the 8th pass, I have T. F. F. T. F. 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 False. False. True. In the ninth pass, true, false, false, true, false, 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 but here it was false. So I will change it to true because it is a multiple of 9. Then true. In the last pass, since we are working only with 10 switches, true, false, false, true, false, false, false. Again false, true and then false. So you can see here in the last pass, this is our last pass. In the last pass, first, fourth and ninth switches are on and rest all are off. So this shows you that all the perfect squares are your answer. All perfect squares. So like in... So like if we work with 10 switches, you have 1, 
4, 9 as your answer. So 3. But if you are working with 100 switches, then 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64 and 81 will be your answer. Sorry, 100 also. So the answer is 10. I told you to focus on number of divisors of each number when you are thinking in mathematical way. So let's see it with an example. You have 70. What are the divisors of it? 1, 2, 5, 7, 10, then 14 and 35 and 70. So, how many divisors are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. Initially, the bulb, the 17th bulb was off. When you go for the first pass, it will change it to true. Then in the second pass, it becomes false again because 70 is a multiple of 2. Then true, then false, then becomes true, false, true, false. So finally, it is off. Okay, so in the 100 pass, you will get 70 off. And uh, so here, number of divisors are even. You have even number of divisors. Let's see one more case, 36. What are the divisors of 36? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, then 9, 12, 18 and 36. If we count it, we will see that there are odd number of divisors. Initially it was off, 36 number bulb was off. You changed it to true, then false, true, false, true, false, true, false, true. So finally it is on. In the 100 pass, you will see that 36 is on. Thus, we conclude that if a number has odd number of divisors, odd number of divisors, then it will remain on, otherwise off. And you should know that a perfect square always has an odd number of divisors. Thus, the answer is all perfect squares from 1 to 100. Like you have 1, 4, 9, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81 and 100 as your answer. So this was the mathematical way to solve it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe our channel for more such videos and please comment below if you have any query or if you have any suggestions to make it better. Thank you so much.